Hey guys, MCU Collector here with the final video in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Deadpool Wave 2 Sauron Build-A-Figure. So here we have the Build-A-Figure, but before I actually put him together, let's kind of look at um, the wave. So again, we have the Wolverine X-23, Bishop Omega Red, X-Men Deadpool, Lady Deadpool, and Deadpool with boxers, or like I call it, Deadpool and Chill. Um, so it's a solid wave, definitely a sleeper wave that I think a lot of people, um, you know, they're, they're kind of all dead pulled out too much dead pull everywhere. Yes. But you got three solid comic figures that are, I think are going to do pretty well. Um, uh, the Bishop and Omega Red are going to be definitely highly sought after. I think the X, the Wolverine figure might as well. Uh, the Deadpool figure is probably going to be pretty easy to get a hold of. X-Men Deadpool and Lady Deadpool, those are the two that are double-packed per case. So those are definitely going to be the easier of the two to find. I think he's actually going to be a little difficult to find, the Deadpool and Chill. Um, but we'll see. But I'm actually going to rank them real quick because um, I really want to get to this Build-A-Figure. Um, so out of the six figures, my number one favorite of the wave... But believe it or not, is actually this Deadpool and Chill figure. Just because it's so fun. It like that's such a ridiculous figure, right? Um, he's my number one. I, I know, stupid, right? But for, for some reason I just like this thing. I don't know why. I really like that thing. So he's my number one. Number two, Omega Red. Uh number three, Wolverine. Number four, Lady Deadpool. Number five. No, no, wait, wait, hold on. Number one, Deadpool and Chill. Number two, Omega Red. Number three, Wolverine. Number four, Bishop. Number five, Lady Deadpool. Number six, uh, X Men Deadpool. That X Men Deadpool is a solid figure. It's just, it's not really necessary. I mean, if you're gonna do an X Men Deadpool, you should have just done the blue and yellow uh, version. Even if he had o only worn it once or twice in the comics, and there was an older figure that actually had that outfit, re-release it on this new body, and that would have been awesome. Um, so that's my ranking. So again, Deadpool, Omega Red, Wolverine, Bishop, Lady Deadpool, X-Men, Deadpool. Now, let's get right to it and let's build Sauron. So, he's going to be pretty large, so I'm probably going to have to back the camera out. Uh, but, uh, before we do that, let's just go ahead and build him. So we have the torso piece that came with the Deadpool and Chill. Um, so let's get him. Um, let's do the legs first. So we got the left leg. And you're just going to pop it in. It says L right there, so you know which one it goes on to. So, ah, fits in there like so. And he's actually pretty, pretty tall. I'm going to have to zoom out anyway. Uh, right leg. You got a big old R right there in the front. That's weird. So, we got to get the skirt piece out of the way. <sighs> fits on there. Nice and easy. Like so. That is looking really good. Let's get the tail. Just a little peg. It's going to port right on in there. And you can kind of swivel the tail around. And let's see. It's a little... You kind of have to force that tail on there. There is articulation in the tail. And that thing is huge tail. Okay. Right leg. You're just going to port it right on in there. And that didn't really snap. That went in very easily. No click. No snap. Nothing. It just... Port it in. Let's see this side. I want to hear it click. <laughs> Nothing. It just kind of goes in there pretty soft. Okay, this guy is huge. I'm going to have to back this out so you guys can see it because his head is cut off um, quite a bit. So there he is. And he's going to be a difficult one to stand. Oh, huh. I guess those wing parts do come. Two come apart. That one just kind of came undone there. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just kind of snap into place. So I didn't actually know that. So I guess that makes sense that they could come off since they are articulated. Um, but he's definitely a hard one to get to stand because his wings are very heavy. Um, so that tail is probably there to really help balance him and get him to stand. As I'm knocking down figures left and right because he's just so big. I got to really work this out. In some kind of way. Okay, <laughs> there he is. Um, so I'm actually going to compare him to the movie lizard figure from the Amazing Spider-Man movie figures uh, because it you it shares the same 
body. It's actually just going to be the torso, uh, but I'm going to bring it out and compare it anyway. So I'm going to go grab that and then I'll back the camera out so we can get the full effect for the full wingspan. We'll kind of measure it out as well so you guys can know exactly how far apart the, wings, the wingspan is. Okay guys, here is the Sauron Build-A-Figure along with the movie Lizard from Amazing Spider-Man. So the, these two figures share some of the same parts. Um, it's actually a little bit less than I thought, or a little bit more than I thought actually, um, because they share the same torso and they also share the same upper thigh. So the upper leg portion is the same. The kneecaps are the same. So the lower legs are different. The arms are different. Obviously the head is different. The tail is different as well. Uh, but the same torso, same um, lower, same upper legs. You can see, you know, they have the different type of tail, but it's all the same body mold and everything. So um, pretty interesting. So if you have, if this is actually a decent figure, it's a good representation of the lizard from the movie. And now the, the, I don't think, uh, it was the best representation of lizard for the movie. Uh, but the figure is, is a good rep representation of lizard from the movie, if that makes sense. And there goes Sauron. Um, so we'll get this lizard figure out of the way. I'll put him here in the pile of other figures that I have to put away because there's just been so many in this wing piece now keeps wanting to fall off and i don't really like that but clips on pretty easily uh but wow what an awesome looking figure as i try and get him to stand he actually balances pretty well and i think the tail really helps with that because he's so um there's so much plastic to him the weight of it's going to be pretty pretty crazy let me back him up and we can fit the whole wingspan there and you can see that that this figure is huge it's much bigger than I actually really thought it was going to be um, so when you really have it spread out as far as it can go let's kind of take a look at what how big that wingspan is so you're looking at about 17 to 18 inches depending on how you maneuver these arms and the wings I'm getting about 17 so 17 inches because there's a little bit of curvature to the wing if you were to have it straight out definitely would hit about 18 inches which is pretty crazy um, or if you actually spread it out even a little bit more than that but you know if it's one wing piece you really should get it to look like that um, but what an awesome figure. I love it. This thing is huge. Um, just what a Build-A-Figure really should be. You know, I know we're not all happy when it comes to like Okoye Build-A-Figures or Mantis Build-A-Figures or Jubilee Build-A-Figures. Because um, we want the large Build-A-Figures. We want the larger characters if we're going to get a Build-A-Figure. Um, so this one does not disappoint. I really, 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 really like it. Let's actually take a look to see how tall he is. So he's going to be measured about... Eight and a half to nine inches. And about eight and a half inches. So he's got some good height to him as well. Uh, we'll take a look at the articulation. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, but the first thing is he has an articulated jaw. So that's good. Um, there is a little bit of head movement. What I really like is you can get some pivot in the head. And I think that looks good. You can see... I want to apologize. It's kind of kind of difficult. I'm trying to get my hands and arms out of the way as much as I can. It's just the camera is so far back. It's hard for me to kind of reach in and be able to do this even for you. Um, so full rotation at the neck or at the top of the head. And then the neck piece also has some motion. Not a whole lot. So if you get in, into a flight, whoops, and you're going to pop it off. So I guess it's, you can move this neck piece back a little bit and then you can move the head up a little bit to get into a flight pose and that works out pretty well actually but then you see a little bit of gap on that hinge I actually have a little piece of pla extra plastic on mine that I've been meaning to get off and I just haven't done that yet um, so you just be mindful of that hinge showing there uh, the arm hinges up that far goes right down to his side so that's good so you can do a flap of the wing motion um, there is the upper bicep swivel and that's going to swivel the entire wing uh, there is a single jointed 
elbow, which gives you just over 90 degrees. So that's actually pretty well, pretty decent. I like that motion. Now there is no ab crunch. There's a diaphragm joint that seems kind of loose, but it really holds up pretty well. And you can get it into all kinds of different poses. So you could, um, you can pivot that way, pivot that way, forward only a little bit. You can actually get back a little bit as well. Um, but again, good range of motion in there. So you can kind of really turn him around as well since there is no waist swivel. Um, so if you actually remove this skirt piece, you can see he has these ball joints uh, for, at the hips. Now I hate, usually hate the ball joints, uh, but this one, it's not so bad. So you can actually do complete splits all the way out. Um, and then there's a really ugly hinge in there, but because that skirt piece is there, it really hides it well. So it's not so much to worry about. And then up here where the, the leg connects at the ball joint, you do, you can get a swivel. And then I just actually pulled the leg off. It doesn't snap in there too well, just kind of sits in there with a little bit of pressure. Um, you do get a double jointed knee and that's actually a really good looking knee bend there. The foot, the feet, they hinge up a little bit. Hinge down, try to get some light in here. And, and there is ankle pivot as well. And then the tail as well hinges up and down and then you could swivel it if you'd like any which way you want. And then you can push it all the way down. You can actually use it for a little bit of support to help them stand as well. Then again, this skirt piece, and I'll get, I'll show you guys, show you guys close-ups of these. Um, just kind of punches in, buckles in, no problem. There. So there's kind of the overview of the figure. Awesome looking figure. Now let's actually get some close-up shots of it. It's going to be a little bit easier for me to manage once we do that. So here we go. Okay, so first we'll take a close-up shot of the head sculpt, and how awesome does that look? The beak, the, the the dark green of the plastic, and then we fade into the lighter yellow towards the beak. I think that looks awesome. We get a little black in there on his eye sockets, um, and that looks good. And then you have red eyes there. Let me see if I can get some more light in there for you guys. So I really like the way that looks. That looks awesome. The articulated jaw. Um, and then you can actually see in there, it's all red inside. Um, you do get this tongue piece. It's kind of a separate piece, so it's in there. It doesn't move or anything, um, but it looks good. It's a nice deep red, and you get some red in there um, on the, the mouth and the edge there. The teeth are sculpted kind of individually. There are little, little spikes there, and they're painted nicely. Um, so Hasbro did a great job on the head. I really, really like uh, the way it came out. That looks really, really good. Get some brighter light in there. Really like the way that looks. Okay, so that's the head. So we get into the torso piece and the wing. Man, the wing is blocking all the light. Um, looking at the color variation so it's all done on the dark green plastic and then there's that little bit of yellow in there to really kind of uh differentiate it it looks really good but then the legs are all just you know that complete flat flat green so that looks really good god these wings are just blocking all the light Okay, so the skirt piece on the back keeps wanting to knock down all the figures that I have here. You can see that here, it's just going to pour it in together there. So it comes off very easily, but you want to make sure that you snap it in and really push it down in there to make sure that that peg gets in there nice and tight so it doesn't come off because it really hides those ugly looking ball joints there. So you can see, look how big that hinge is. You don't want that showing. That thing's really ugly looking. Uh, the tail, if you have it higher up, you're not going to see the um, the hinge area because it does move around. So there's a lot of that motion there. So you want to kind of position it so you're not going to see it nearly as much. Uh, trying to move this around so I'm not knocking down all these other figures. So 
there he is. What an awesome looking figure. Let's see if I can get some of the wing in here. Really like the way the dark green and the light greens really come together on the wings. Looks really, really good. Really like it. What an awesome looking build a figure. Okay, let's bring it out a little bit. Okay, so here we have the figure up close again. Um, just what an awesome build a figure. I did some research and, and find out exactly who Sauron is. So, Dr. Carl Lycos, basically what happened is he absorbed some of Havoc's mutant energy um, and it transformed him into a vampire like pterodactyl like being, I guess you could say. Um, so, I think he's more of like a Dr. J Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing. Um, you know, alter egos and different personalities. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. He really, um, I, I know he's associated with the Savage Land quite a bit. Um, so I'd love, I'd really like to get that San Diego Comic Con exclusive, um, Savage Land box set now, maybe one of these days, cause it is a Hasbro release. So that is something that I would definitely may be interested in getting, um, sometime in the future. Uh, but what an awesome build a figure. One thing I did forget earlier though, is his hands are hinged and they do swivel so i forgot to mention that earlier um, but there he is another last shot at it what an awesome build a figure um definitely a contender for build a figure of the year uh i may do a ranking video of all the different build a figures you know we've had the mcu thanos call obsidian sasquatch uh apocalypse spider lizard sauron monster venom um, I think that's all of them. So I may do a ranking video, but he, he may take the number one spot just because it's such an awesome figure. You know, when it comes to these action figures, even if it's characters that I'm not really familiar with, um, sometimes just the the design of a figure, the execution of a figure really sets things off for me. Like this particular one, you know, I have no idea who the character was. I just know that for years, everybody's been saying, give us Sauron, build a figure, Sauron, build a figure, Sauron, build a figure. Um, and I'm like, Sauron, isn't that the guy from Lord of the Rings? Fun fact, it's actually where he took the name was from the villain in Lord of the Rings. Um, so anyway, um, just an awesome looking figure that, you know, just... The way it, it, it is, the, the design, everything is just really outstanding. I'm really happy to have it. Um, I do recommend the wave. It is a solid wave. Even though it's a lot of Deadpool, it is definitely a solid wave that I do highly recommend. So there he is. Sauron build a figure. Uh, pretty awesome. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys liked the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching.